So Senator Burr and some other Republicans are trying to move some cyber information sharing legislation, and um, there's been a suggestion that it be attached to the NDAA. What does the White House make of that approach? Well, we take a pretty dim view of that approach, to be blunt about it. The fact is, we want the Senate to pass cybersecurity legislation, not play games with it. Uh, and the suggestion that they're going to attach it to a piece of legislation that the President has already indicated he opposed uh, is an indication that they're interested in, more interested in playing politics than they are in actually making sure that we have all the tools we need to protect uh, the American people from, uh, from cyber hacks, uh, either emanating inside the United States or more commonly abroad. But the White House, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but the White House seems to regularly issue veto threats for the um, NDAA, but when it comes down to it, um, the President signs these large defense spending bills, authorization bills. So how serious is the White House this time around about this veto threat for the NDAA? Uh, very serious, and I would, um, you know, this is, uh, we're obviously talking about uh, some weighty policy matters when we're talking about the National Defense Authorization Act. Uh, and you know, the President has in the past expressed serious concerns with some of the things that uh, members of Congress have sought to add to this legislation. Uh, but the concerns that the President uh, has uh, are serious. and. We have seen uh, so far in the House that there are enough votes in the House of Representatives to sustain a presidential veto. Uh, and I think that's a, an indication that the President's veto threat should be taken quite seriously.